How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. This is Skippy. I'm your boy BP. We're here for your NXT review. Uh, look how I say, man. Every week, NXT is the best. Great show. I started off with the girls, man. Six man, six woman tag team match. Rhea Ripley, Candice LeRae, Tony Storm going against Bianca Belair, Kaylee Ray, and of course uh, Io Shirai, man. Phenomenal match. Five stars. Right off the bat. I love seeing it. I don't think I'll give it five. I'll give it about four and a half. It's a pretty good match. Uh, of course, Rhea Ripley picks up the win because she's the hot thing going on right now. I'm going to tell you what hot thing was, man. Seeing Tony Storm and then that is in that ring together with Candice. Girl on girl on girl. You know what? <laughs> Honestly, I thought for sure Tony Storm was going to pick up the win when she planted her fat ass right on Kaylee Reese. Kaylee Ray's face. It there. was good to see Tony Storm and actually Kaylee Ray coming from the UK to actually get inside these uh to get inside the ring. And matter of fact, while we're talking about Tony Storm and Rhea Ripley, uh our hearts go out to uh what's going on in Australia. I hope everything goes alright with the fire and all that crap. Um, you know. So it's it sucks, dude. So I hope everything gets better it gets better for their country over there. Uh, I hate to see all of them animals uh, get hurt and killed and just people losing their lives over there. It's crazy. I hope they can get down under control, which I'm hearing now that they finally got rain, so that's pretty good over there. But anyway, back to the matches, man. Uh, yeah, like he said, Rhea Ripley and then did pick up the win. It was an awesome win for them. Uh, but the, the thing that came out of this was uh, Rhea accepted Tony Storm's challenge and yeah. at Worlds Collide. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. We will have Rhea Ripley versus Tony Storm. But now, now when that happens, is Four. is Tony Storm gonna be the UK Women's Champion again? Because uh, this week, uh, uh, Black, uh, they're having their uh, takeover, part takeover, two. but yeah, part two, something like that. And part I think two. Kayla Race defending her the UK Women's Champion against Tony Storm again. So with Tony Storm's the champion, that is are the only belt. I think it's a triple threat match for the UK title. I can't remember the other woman's name. Though. Oh yeah, but um, I think I, I think I know who you're talking. I don't about. watch UK much. I'm sorry. I, I don't I, either. I'm sorry about that. I, I used to, but I. I hear Shawn Michaels is running it, which makes me kind of want to watch right. it. Right. I mean, there's just so I'm much sure, wrestling right now. I'm but. sure it's good. Yeah. Right now we're focused on uh, SmackDown, Raw, NXT, and of course AEW. So there's a lot going on with that. But the thing to come out of that is. What Tony Storm said, she beat Rhea twice this year. That's true, true story. So, and if you remember, Rhea Ripley was the first ever UK Women's Champion, and Tony Storm is the one that beat her for the title. It could happen again for the NXT Women's Champion, whether it's champion versus champion, it could be title for title. You can see Rhea two belts or uh, Tony two belts. I don't know. I'll we'll find out. Uh, next up, man, first round uh, of the Dusty Cup, man. Uh, I've always loved this tournament. Uh, it didn't matter who was in it, uh, just the Dusty Rhodes Classic. The, the Cup was awesome. I thought it was a great idea, especially now since he's gone. Uh, man, two great teams starting off, man. Uh, the Forgotten Sons against Imperium, really? The Forgotten Sons being a finalist in last year's tournament. You got bad team versus bad team. This is what I like. Yeah. It's not even face versus hill. It's hill versus hill. It made it for an interesting match. Dude. Yeah, they just face it off for a cup. Yes, it is. That's, it. that's, that's, that's where I, This reminds me of the Jim Crockett Cup back in the days when it was NWA before it went to WCW. I liked it, man, because you had teams. that not matter if they was bad or good going against each other. It was awesome. Before my time. Yeah, I was waiting for your time. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is, this is what it kind of reminds me of. Anyway, I gave this match five stars. I loved it. I liked watching it. Um, uh, you know, Imperium, man, I was really impressed with them. They picked up the win here. Yeah. I guess the Forgotten Sons. Wow. Yeah, those guys are, I mean, both of these teams are great. Yeah, I mean, it was great. I, I, I thought the Forgotten Sons was excellent, dude, because you, they do have Jackson Riker out there. But that didn't matter, man. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, whatever. Next up, man, we had a match between Austin Derry. Dude, you know, you guys know Austin Derry. Against Joaquin Wild, man. Uh, I give this match three stars. Also, there he did win the match. I don't. I did not like Joaquin's stupid ass bike on the crap. What the hell? He looked like a dork coming out. You see that dude? Yeah, he's a he's a weirdo. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it was. If you guys know, if, I don't know if you guys know who Joaquin Wild is. I think he was a uh, former Impact wrestler known as DJZ or something. I forgot his name. I have I no idea. Like, 
I, I haven't know. watched much of Impact yeah. past like uh, the, the Kurt Angle days. Yeah, right. But anyway, yeah, uh, also there he did pick up the win here. I gave it three stars. That was just alright match okay. for me. It was okay. Yeah. Next up, uh, we had another first round uh, Dusty Cup match. Uh, of course, man, my team, Undisputed Era, I love them. And they went against the tag team champions in the UK brand, Gallus. Uh, this is another great match. I gave this match four stars, man. It was awesome. Of course, my boys on the spear air picked up the win. But Gallus, man, I'm telling you what. Uh, I think the only reason why Undisputed Air did pick up the win here is because they had Adam Cole and, of course, Roger Strong out there helping them. Gallus only had yeah. them, too. So, but it was interesting. Uh, so, so far, moving on in the cup tournament, you've got uh, the Imperium has moved on in the Undisputed Air. Wouldn't it be interesting to see that as the, uh, the final? Dude. Maybe, uh... I don't, I don't know how the brackets look. We'll have to look at that. Uh, It'd be interesting if it was like, if they just brought in all four. I'm thinking. Classic. I'm thinking it might be uh, the undisputed air against uh, the Broser weight. Oh yeah, and the bro, <laughs> the Broser weights, <laughs> the Broser weights. <laughs> was that? That's the craziest name you ever. <laughs> Fucking. That's gonna. That's gonna be a crazy team, man. Uh, to see, uh, you know. Uh, that Pete Dunn tagged him up with uh, the interview in the back was funny. Oh man, Matt Riddle was just like, Matt walked Riddle. up to him was like, bro, Dusty Cup. <laughs> yeah, he was like, <laughs> you know how Pete Dunn does. So there you go. And he was like, you know, do you know, whatever he his he does. But anyway, yeah, Undisputed won that match, gave it four stars. Next up, we had uh, Johnny Gargano come out. Uh, he talking about how he wants Finn Balor back in the ring. And this is going to happen at TakeOver Portland. So uh, that, that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, Our game was pissed off. Uh, he, he said, you made Johnny TakeOver miss a TakeOver, and that, that's not cool. So, I mean, <clears throat> I, like, I can't wait to actually see these two go at it one-on-one -on -one, because we all know about Johnny, Go Johnny Gargano. We all know about Finn Balor and see these two. Uh, I like to see how they, well, they mesh in the ring together. I'd probably say Give Johnny Gargano is my favorite wrestler right now. Just... A local Crazy guy, guy, local guy here in the Northeast Ohio area. Yeah, just incredible guy, total nerd. Um, I don't know. We haven't really <laughs> talked about this, but what <clears throat> that girl in Wisconsin? That was pretty cool. Yeah, it, it's man. These guys, man. They, uh, they, you know, a lot of people don't know doesn't know what, what goes out on outside of the wrestling business. <clears throat> Some of these guys, man, they really do a lot. Some of these women and men. Yeah. Do a lot for the community and a lot for people to help them out and stuff. Like this whole Australia uh, fire thing, you know, they've been doing a lot for that. But anyway, yeah. Uh, next up, man, we had a, a match between Mia Yim uh, against uh, Caden Carter here. And uh, it, was, it was a pretty good match. I gave this match three stars. It was interesting to see Caden Carter and Mia Yim go at it because they are friends. They are both uh, faces. Uh, but, you know, what was crazy is uh, Chelsea Green comes out after the match is over with, after Mia wins it, and jumps on Caden Carter, dude, right off the bat. Yeah. And who's the clown that's with her now? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Robert Knox or something. I don't know. But anyway, she's got a manager now. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So uh, it's interesting because she's been on Raw and main event and stuff. There was talk she might be on Raw as right. the mainstay. If you guys don't know who Chelsea Green is, she's actually, I'm not sure if she's married to Zach Ryder or if they're just engaged right now. But uh, I think she's, I think they're just engaged. That's uh, uh, Zach Ryder's girl, uh, it's Chelsea Green. So, uh, you know, there you go on that. Uh, next up, man, was another phenomenal main event, dude. Holy crap. This was for the number one contendership for the North American champion. We had Keith Lee, Damian Priest, uh, you know, you had Donovan Dajakovic, on the other hand, and then you had your Rick boy Grimes. Greg Grimes up there. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I gave this match five stars because that's exactly what it was for me. I loved it. That is great. Too much action going on. I couldn't hardly keep up with it. There's so much action going on. I mean, all four of these men, dude, put on one hell of a show. I love Damian Priest. I love Donovan Dajakovic. I'm coming around to like Mr. Rick Grimes. Which is Cameron Grimes. <laughs> and uh, you, know, you guys know how I feel about uh, Mr. Royal Rumble winner, my pick, Keith Lee. So, as a matter of fact, he's the one that won the match. I I'm interested to see where this goes. Uh, like, we're talking like he should be on the main roster here soon. And 
So maybe it'd be weird to see him win the title. Uh, against see, that's what I'm saying. Strong. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. I don't think Roger Strong's going to lose that title with Keith Lee because of that fact right there. Probably uh, undisputed error. You know, get involved in that and uh, you know cause Roderick Strong to keep the title. And therefore, Keith Lee, go ahead and move on. I'm going to ask something. Where is Royal Rumble uh, this year? Is it in Arizona? I think it's Houston. It's in Houston. Okay, so why are they having... Uh... Okay, I guess that's after. Well, where's the one in Chamber? No idea. I haven't heard anything about that one yet. It's crazy. I'm just wondering because now you got TakeOver coming up. And is it ta is a takeover going to be after the Royal Rumble? Before, it's so Saturday before it's the World Collide. Okay, so the, oh there you go. So Portland's going to be the World Collide thing then. Yeah. Okay, I got you. And then the Royal Rumble's the next day. I got you. All right, here we go. I was wondering because now they also they're going to have well are they going to still have going to have a takeover on the WrestleMania weekend? You know. They always do. I know, but yeah. now I mean you got. NXT what? gonna be at WrestleMania? Is NXT? You know NXT is gonna be at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Yeah. So, it depends on who wins. You know. Uh, see now, if uh, Worlds collides in Portland, that means they have to travel from Portland to get their asses to Houston for Royal Rumble. <laughs> I think Portland just made it easy for the UK guys. That's why they're over there. Obviously, Portland. But um, yeah, right. I got you. Um, I don't know. Uh, it, but, you know, it's going to be interesting to see. I hope they don't have travel issues, man. It's going to, uh, you know, I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, what a phenomenal main event it was, dude. Keith Lee did win the match, like we said. Some interesting segments there where he was beating motherfuckers with another motherfucker. Dude, Keith Lee is the real deal, dude. I'm going to tell you what, man. All four of these guys are actually the damn real deal. Uh, your boy Rick Grimes here, man. He had some pretty good shots in, dude. I'm going to yeah. tell you what. He's an up and comer, that's for sure. He really is, dude. And he's tough, rugged, hillbilly ass dude. I, don't know, I think it was silly for them to go with the Grimes name unless they were trying to make a Walking Dead reference. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, Double D, Dom, uh, Dijakovic, man, he's just he's a phenomenal. And I love Damian Priest. Just all these guys that seem to be a hell of a fucking oh my God, up and comer, too. Like, he's great now, but like they, if they booked him right, he could be a monster heel. You really could. Just like uh, Keith Lee. Priest could too, really. Yeah. You know, I mean. These are all giant guys, too. Now, you know, Royal Rumble's coming up, and these guys, uh, is uh, Velveteen Dream going to be in the Royal Rumble? That'd be interesting. You know? Johnny Gargano? How would how you like to see Johnny Gargano in the uh, Royal Rumble? I'd hate it because he's losing and piss me off. <laughs> but, you know, that's, he might do that. Yeah. They might throw him in there. I'm thinking we'll get Matt Riddle and Brock Lesnar in the Rumble at some point. That'll be funny right there. If not, Matt Riddle eliminating Brock. Dude. Bro. <laughs> wow. Hey, uh, what, any of the Undisputed Era? Adam Cole? I don't know. I doubt it. Well, you can't say you doubt it because Brock Lesnar's a damn WWE champion. He's in the Royal Rumble. So, I guess all the champions can be in the Royal Rumble. They really wanted to. I don't know. Why not the fan? <laughs> you know, whatever. Why not? Some, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but, I, I want to talk about the Dusty Cup for a second, since we're done with the show here. Um, yeah. The thing that I always like about it is the weird teams like Matt Riddle and Bruiserweight that, that come out of it. Um, Absolutely. You look at Oscar and Ricochet. They teams that you year. wouldn't even die about getting together there. And actually I'm really disappointed that Oscar and Ricochet still aren't a tag team. They kind yeah. of got split up for a minute. Right. And then uh, now they're both on the same show, so I don't know why they can't. No, I'm going to tell you what, man. Alistair's uh, got his work. I mean, him and uh, Ruddy Murphy, man. Phenomenal matches. Another Australian guy there. Yeah. There's another, I mean, Murphy and Black Three coming up on Raw. Man. I'm going to tell you what. They it surprised got, me if Buddy Murphy finally pulled one out on all Alistair. It could, it could happen, man. Uh, it looked like he had Alistair's number uh, a couple times, actually. The, the first two times. But Black came through, man, and took him out. But, hey, man, uh, you know, I... Uh, what a great show it was. I thought it was an excellent show. Uh, uh, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, please tell, let us know. Um, I still think they need to move to bigger arenas. I think that's really hindering the uh, the overall fan experience. Right. 
Which um, they might because now NXT is actually looked at as a, its own entity, its own brand. And then I read somewhere that they aren't because they're still competing in the ratings with AEW without yeah, moving. I heard that too. I heard that too. I just think if you've seen like this stuff going on in a bigger arena, it would probably... But see, I think what they're afraid of is the reason why they don't want to move NXT to a bigger arena because if you notice, if you actually look at AEW, I don't know how when this is taken, but they pan across the crowd there's no one in the crowd. On the television, on the non televised side, there's no one in the crowd. They're getting the TV ratings. I think they're having a hard time drawing people to the crowd. That's it. Uh, but we will be one of those guys in the crowd here shortly. In a couple weeks, we'll be there on 29th, man, when it comes to the Wallstein Center in Cleveland. Can't wait. We'll be uh, filming live for you, some matches and shit, and uh, we'll get right down to it. But anyway, as always, you guys, I want to thank you guys for joining me and skip you right here for your NXT review. Uh, always uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that post notification button up there, little bell button so you get all of me and Skippy's videos. We appreciate it. If you got comments, please comment. We want to hear them all. But anyway, guys, until next time, we'll see you guys right back here for your A and W, A E W, not A N W, A E W review. See you guys next time here at the corner.